and this place, it was very warm, and it was very sweet smelling, and it was, I saw flowers, wild flowers, and I can remember seeing lavender and rye grass swaying in the gentle breezes, exactly. and I just felt love. It was a very wonderful place. You good, just described good. exactly what I see. Wonderful experience. And he, he's, he's come back to me in dreams several times. Oh, that is so awesome. He, he comes to visit me. Wow. That, that is amazing. Yeah. Um, it says here on the switchboard, I don't know if you see it, uh, Star Raven, that it's telling us, it's usually tell us that we're in in a few minutes, but now it's telling us for the host to call in again. So I don't know if we have a, more show coming on uh, or are we being uh, uh, streamed right now. I, I think I have to step out. Okay, then thank you so much, Lady Di, for showing up tonight. Okay. Thank you all. all of Mary you. Part, my sister. Mary Part, all of you, and good wishes, and, um, and have a good evening, okay? Good night. Good, good night. night. Good night, Mary, Mary Part. Part. Thank you, Mary Part. So um, just want to tell I everybody. I guess we'll talk for as long as the switchboard is open. <laughs> the switchboard is open, but it's not going to be streamed, so we can go and continue the show. Okay. And if you don't mind, uh, Lady Vampire, uh, that part that just cut off, the first segment cut off, because the show is on, but it's not being streamed. So this is okay. our private. So this is actually a private show. You sure? Okay. <laughs> uh, we sh we don't know, okay? Because it's, since the time has changed. The switchboard has been doing that. So, like, we had to do the part two for Amalucci's show. Part of it, it, it was going good. And we did. We, we do have the archive for the second show, too, as well, don't we, Star Raven? Yeah, we do. Okay. So I'm sure this is also being streamed. I'm going to take a break and let Star Raven host the rest of the show, uh, at least for a good five minutes. So I'm going to step away for five minutes. And Star Raven, if you don't mind, um, go ahead. I'll be right back. Sure. Um, okay, Vampy, um, what you just, just described when you saw that flash is, is something that that's what I see when either my pets are gone or um, whether I'm helping someone go over or pass over uh, through the gates. Um, we did have a question before. Do the animals do the same thing as humans? I mean, you just described that, but is it the same kind of feeling? Are you able to do that with humans as well as pets? Well, I haven't had much experience with, with humans because I'm, I'm so much closer to animals. And so I haven't, I haven't helped the human cross over, but I had have, I, I have this really weird, weird dream once. There was um, a, fr a friend of the family. He, had, he got prostate cancer, and the cancer spread throughout his body. So he was he was quite ill, and he had um, he was not a very good man in some ways. So he he'd done things to to people to hurt them. Oh, okay. And I had moved out, and he had come to the house as I was moving out. So it was like I didn't really say anything to him because he would come up to visit a lot. Okay. And he he died like a month after I moved out, and I didn't keep a lot of contact with my sister and that. Like I I'd called them, but not recently at this point. And I had this dream of him. And in the dream, I was up the hill at my parents' house, and he was there, but he wasn't as he was I last seen him. He was younger he had been restored and he was crying and he kept asking me for my forgiveness for what he had done and and I said well I can forgive you I, I won't forget it but I can forgive you and you can cross over and you can go to heaven with a good conscience or whatever because you came here on earth we all have a purpose Right. We all sign our agreement <clears throat> before we come down here. This is going to happen to me at this age. I'm not. I don't know who it's going to be, but this will happen. Right. And it was in the contracts. It was just something that was 
supposed to happen for life lessons. And I remember telling him this, and I gave him a hug, and I had never hugged this man in my childhood or any other time. And then I woke up, and I knew he had passed on. And I had this dream. I was talking to my sister afterwards, and she said he had died a couple days before, and that she had had a, ver a similar dream with him. So that was my he experience with Alan. He could. Hmm? He was making amends after he passed. Yeah. We all he did. I, I think that he he was reviewing his life when he, after he had passed on. I believe that happens. I really do. I believe once you're over there, you get to see your mistakes and your accomplishments and what you could have done a little better, you know, better choices, whatever. That's probably what happened. I was so read and been told that people that pass over, they usually appear to other people and they're the most happiest. So well, when you would be that, that's when you went more sexual with Alf, because it's quite appeared that way. I, I think for him, in order for him to be at peace with himself, he had to apologize to the various people that he had hurt. And I think that the only way he could do this was through the dream. I'm sure that other people have had dreams about him, but they probably don't remember them. Right. Because a lot of people don't remember their dreams. Right. 